okay guys welcome back to this Django tutorial series so in this video I'm going to show you guys on how to configure your static files now what are static files static files are basically your CSS files your JS files or your images they are just external files added to your project like CSS as I explained earlier but to configure this to make this link to make your HTML link with your CSS file or to make your image appear in your HTML file is not like a normal normal linking let me put it like that you have to configure some things called static in the settings and some folders so let's get right into that the first thing we need to do is to create a folder named static in the root directory now when I say root directory I mean the folder where money.py is that's the root directory of your uh, your project now, I'm going to create a new folder with a good name is static now this is where we're going to be storing our all our CSS, all our images, or any external file we're going to use. Now we're going to open our site and then go to settings.py. And then we're going to scroll to the bottom. All we just need to do is to type this into the bottom of our settings.py file. There are static files underscore there's equals to os.path.join base there static. Basically what this is saying is that whenever we're calling the static method that means whenever we're calling any other external file it should go into the base directory the base directory is the same as the roots directory that's where the money.py file is then you should look for a folder called static now when it looks for a folder called static it's going to see this folder so anything we want to put our css is supposed to be inside this folder now let's save this now that we have saved that we can come into our index.html and then make some styling now we just need to do let's configure an a let's open an a1 tag h1 sorry and let's type hi guys let me save this and let's go to our project now you see it says hi guys but i want to add a styling i want to make it red let's say i want to make the color red i want to use an external css file so what we're going to do we're going to open this static folder and we're going to type let's say main.css and in here let's say h1 let's open i think it's something like this is it okay so in an h1 color let's make it red now let's save this so first to link this together is as simple as doing this before we can use any static files we need to load static to do that we're just going to use this load static and then to bring in our css file all we're going to do is style yeah type should be style sheet or css i think let's use link um Let's just quickly check the internet for that. How to link let's say CSS in HTML. Sorry, all this is just basically. Yeah, okay, real style sheet. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Let's open this. Yeah, real style sheet. Now it's as simple as just pasting that in here. And then let's this is our, our own is main or CSS. Since we have this, basically it should work, but when we come into our project and refresh, you see we still have a black h1 tag. For us to link it, we need to type curly brackets, then we're going to put percentage sign. I'm going to say static. And then to close that, I'm going to put this and then close. Now when we refresh this, you see now we have a red eye, guys. This is basically how to set up your static files. We put our CSS file in our static file, our static folder, sorry. We came there, edited whatever I want to edit, and then link it in our HTML. And this is the main part. Before you can link it in your HTML, you must have configured the static in your settings file, and then load static in your HTML file. And then before you can import any CSS file or any image, you must use this format open quality bracket percentage sign static the main.css and close 
present it and then close the curly bracket. It's as simple as that. Let's try it out with an image. Okay, let me just go to the internet and get one image. Let me say build gate image. Okay, let's click on one and then let's drag one here. So basically what I want to do, I want to save this. Okay, let me do something like this. Let me see if I can save it directly. Okay, we can't do that. So let's reduce this. Paste it in here. Then let's drag it straight to our Visual Studio code. So now in our static, let's copy it. Now you see we have download.jpy. Let's use the image here. So for us to use image, as we all know, image tag and src. Then let's what's the name download that's jpg. And then let's close that. Um, something like this. Now when we refresh, you see it gives us that you can't see any image. This basically means it's not loading the image. So for us to do this, I'm gonna type in this format again. This is the official Django format to load any external file. And then close that. And when we come here and then refresh it, we see our image. As simple as that. That's how you guys can load a static file. Now, if you're having any problem with this, just drop it down in the comments. I'll be sure to read all comments. And if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash the like button and turn on the post notifications so you get notified when I drop new videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.